Hey guys, welcome to another Minecraft episode. This time I'm playing an adventure map called Seth Bling's Redstone Challenge. So this is made by Seth Bling, obviously. And this guy is into redstone like guys are into chicks. Yep, that makes sense. Okay. So yeah, so this is like, as it says, a redstone challenge. So I think there's 20 levels. Each level you get certain stuff. And then you have to open an iron door at the end. And it starts off using re very basic redstone knowledge to extremely hard redstone knowledge. So let's just read this um, first. This is a redstone puzzle map. Though you may be able though you may be able oh, to get through the early levels without advanced redstone knowledge, you will need a lot of redstone knowledge to complete the entire map. Which I have a fairly large amount of redstone knowledge, but not as much as Seth Link. He knows lots of them. Use the hints in each level as a last resort. I'll also be posting a walkthrough on my channel. No placing or breaking anything except the materials given to you in that level's chest. You may not carry any items with you from one level to the next. You may exploit any redstone bugs or glitches that you know of. This map is intended for single player. If you have multiple people, you should play as if you only had one. This map map was designed for Minecraft 1 before, before. oops be right back <laughs> okay back and it's 1.4 before in survival slash people's mode so that shouldn't have broken anything for level zero lever I need a hint um can't place it on the glass <gasps> oh my god okay level one lever. Yeah, as you can see, it starts off with really basic redstone. That's probably a torch. Can't see it though. And level two, this is an and gate, pretty much. I'd be really embarrassed if I didn't make it level three. One lever. Which one works? Anyway. I thought it was sticky pistons. That was sticky pistons. It'd be slightly more challenging. Should have done sticky. Oops. That was just a big and gate. A a a a and gate. Oh, that's cool. Ah. Oh, that's cool. Uh, peaceful swap way. I find that cool. Um. Yep. Okay. So you ready? There it goes. It's out of my inventory. That's cool. Um. Oh, I haven't even really been explaining. Okay. So this one here seems to be is it. called a bud switch so this is a bud switch like so this here if this is powered so if I do that oh actually let's do this so as you can see it's unpowered and if I power this it doesn't power if I power this it still doesn't power but with bud switches since the pistons um, if one piston is here block is that is powered here if it's one block diagonal so like that then it'll update if block next to it gets updated. So yeah, that's how that works. And it's just two of them connected to an AND gate. I'm just... Okay. So let's do that. Clear inventory. Level 5, let's see what this is. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that one there um, is oh, 
what do you call it? Well, it's just a clock. But the way torches work is if... I can actually break those. I don't know that. Whoops. Um, if... Oh, it's hard to explain. Redstone. But basically, a torch burns out if the pulse constantly gets shot at you one tick after another. If you have a look, this is one tick. So it goes there. One tick later, it goes there. It turns off. And so if that gets constantly like um, going around and around onto the torch, it'll ran it'll eventually burn out, and then randomly when um, the torch gets updated, because in Minecraft every I think one second or one tick, twenty blocks randomly in each chunk, like every chunk that's loaded, gets um, updated. So when that gets updated. I don't know if it's every second or every tick. That gets updated, then it turns back on, and then it starts it again. So, let's go through. Grab level 7. 12 redstone. Okay, so let's have a look here. So, what we've got here... Is we've got... A clock, and what seems to be a monostable circuit. Um, correct. And then what we want? Okay. Yeah. So that yeah. So that was just monostable circuit, which sends out a one pulse tick. And with pistons, if a one pulse tick gets sent to them, ready? Watch. It sends it out and then. Oops. It sends it um, out but doesn't retract it, even if it's sticky, as you can tell here. And then this is just hooked up to a large AND gate. There's just torches underneath these blocks, which go through the block into that, to this block, and yep, yeah, and then go into an AND gate. Level 8. These aren't too hard. Um, are these sticky? Yeah. There we go. One tick box. I think it's just, un yeah, it's just a simpler version of the other one. You just gotta do it fast enough. So yeah, it's just the exact same thing except smaller and you gotta do it manually. So yeah. Level 9. I like it how it's smoothly. Does it, um... What's this? Um, I think that's what I have to do. This is just another AND gate, but I think I have to burn out the torches. Let's see if I can't do this fast enough. So I had to burn out the torches for that one, just to, um, so, like, like I said before, one tick pulse constantly to a torch, it burns it out. I just had to burn out both torches, which wasn't too hard. So, yeah, so level 10. Oh, blocks. Could have picked something fancier than dirt, could you? Um, so let's see. What's that do? So wait, what do we want? We want to turn off all three of these. So we want to do... See what it looks like when it's normal. So those are still on. Okay. Okay. If we did this, so that pushed that block out. 
So let's turn that one off. And all we need to do is turn that off, okay. Oh wait. And so, oh yeah. so again that was um just a couple of end gates so what happened there is see this here this um is another mon monish table circuit and basically what I had to do is I had to turn it off and what happened is is when I power into this this immediately turns off but this turns off after a time so what I had to do is I had to make it so that these both turned off at the exact same time so that this wire would turn off for like one tick or whatever to um, power this enough so that it goes over the torch that was here and then it goes into this block and then goes into that which is an end gate sort of thing which I think it's an OR gate I don't know can't really remember the names of things but then so that was that but then there's also this wire here that didn't get so that these had to be off so that this wasn't powered but these here had to be off so I had to do what I did before with the one tick pulse thing to these because one tick pulse sends it out so yeah to, I had to do the same thing to these to get it do I, I'm gonna turn that on music Oops. so yeah that's really what it was, and then it's just a big a old end gate. It's in repeaters, level 11. So another clock here, which goes to here, so if we... Why is this constantly on? Let's power to that. So somehow, uh, do we have to? Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's locking mechanism. Hey, so what? We have to go. Um, so what we have to do here, we've got the clock, I think we have to two, send two signals, oh yeah, we have to do this, I think it has to be like that, now what we have to do, yeah, so, we've got this here, what we have to do is we have to go and turn off, uh, turn this off. Ooh, what happened there? Click. Uh, so, and since these are all on and off at the same time, but if you have a look, there's these in the way. So once that could turn off, that turns off, that turns off, and goes there. But then this can, but this turns back on, which powers it off. So it'll still randomly do it, but not that often. So I think we need. One more. Yep. There we go. It still isn't that complicated. Oh, this is the one he, sh he went into in the video. He didn't actually do anything to it, but he went into it. Um, okay, so let's see. What we've got is we have to turn this one on. So we have to unlock that. And then unlock that. So that comes from here. So if that do that, that unlocks that, but then we have to unlock this one here. It comes from here. That unlocks those two. So what we have to do is we have to do this. That locks them on. Which locks that on. Oh no, wait, we want this to be off. So we want those to be on, and that to be off. And we want this to be off. Do that, and oh, 
I don't think that's meant to be the... I didn't break that. Oh wait, it's more confusing than I thought. So we have to have that one there at the end, so... Okay, so it's just a bunch of redstone locks, and so when redstone goes into redstone repeater, redstone repeater comes from the side, it locks that state on or off. So that's locked on at the moment, so if we turn that off, like that gets locked to there, and then we want is that, we want this to go, which then swaps, oops, no we don't want that. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get uh, the link of this wire all the way up to here on. So at the moment that needs to turn off because it's inverted to turn that on. So we need to unlock this one, which means we have to unlock that one. Oops. So that's unlocked. That turns off. means it's power going to there but we have to turn this one off from here so this should open the door yep it's great door is unlocked see how this here is on but it's not get this isn't receiving any power but because this is locked it's locked on so yeah you knew button Um, oh no, I know what this is. So this is a bunch of clocks. And what we have to, what I have to do is I have to disable them all by pressing this button that I just placed, spamming it. Wait, what? Oh no! No! I know what I have to do. Sorry about that bit of an interruption. But what I have to do is I have to line these all up so they turn off and on at the same time. That's what I have to do. So, these two are about the same, but this one isn't, so let's see if... That's nowhere near close, so... No. Let's see if that's right. Yep, so that's pretty good. So let's see if these four. Yep, so that's pretty good. Now let's get this one. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking at this torch and that torch. When that torch goes on, I let go of the button. Now when it goes off. So let's do that again. So that was better. So those two should go on pretty close. And I've got not much of a buffer. Uh. Okay, there we go. Got it open. So yeah. It goes off for like about a second. You don't have to get it perfect, you got like a one second buffer. But but that's between them all. Um Oh this one I have to that's cool. So this one's pretty easy. Do that. Let's 
see if we can't do this. I want to try to see if I can get that. Oh man, it's hard to it looks. Man. I need to get this so it like sends the signal. Oh no! I can't invert the signal, can I? Oh, I did it! I did it! I have no idea how I did it, but I did it. I must have accidentally... Hey, why is that on? I must have, when I broke that off there, it must have done something weird and made it work. Oh well. Level 15. That was just like moving blocks. Um, so I have to move that glass block over to the other side and there's a clock there. It's kind of difficult. Oh, no! Oh no. Give. Oh no. Give. Two, two, give, give, dark, ox, what? That's not cool. What's one of these? That's cool. Um, uh, let me get out something. Okay, let's find out what redstone is. I know I had two redstone, two dirt, which I'm using as grass. Give dark hogs. And I had two torches, redstone torches. What's redstone? Three, three, one, three, one. Dark jokes. Hogs. Three, three, one, two. Wait. Give dark hogs. Give. Oh, look, 51, 2. Oh, give. Dark. I think it's 51. No, no, 51's fire. Let's listen to touch. 76. Okay. So, okay, so let's get back to what we were doing. 